Hey. Yeah, for some reason I was going up there for a sec, even though I was pressing down. Examine this place and find the old key. And you immediately lose it. So basically what happens to Laguna in this dream sequence is um, he keeps messing up his metaphors I think. I think you can um, do something with these. Yep. Well, that's one metaphor you got right. Actually, they will. So Laguna's pretty right about this one. And there he goes. I wonder what's down there anyways. And here we find yet another old key. Yep, he loses the key yet again. That's pretty unfortunate, losing two keys in one day. Um, no, that j just takes us back to where we were before, before we enter this cave place. Let's head up here first. And we will be able to do something about that big rock over there. Um, let's press the red switch first. And we crush yet another S-Star soldier. Although I think that one escapes. Yep. And let's press the blue switch this time. Wow, these guys are fast. And that one was awfully quiet. And it chases more as the soldiers away. That's exactly what we want because um, at the end of this place we'll be fighting a battle with tons of S-Star soldiers, however if you activate all of these traps, um, then you will fight minimal soldiers, like I think only one battle. And up here we enter a red crystal type area. You can encounter an enemy here called Elastoid. I think if you're a high enough level you can, um, draw the spell from it which is quite useful to junction to your magic defense I think at this point of the game. 
but I'm not high enough level to do so yet because I think you need to be level 25 and currently Laguna is only level 17 I think. Yup, and we crush a 4th or a 5th at the Star Soldier I think. Killing two pigs with one, with one stone. That's a pretty bad mess up. Yeah, we don't really need um, the pure spell right now. There's a save point. Let's check out what's here first. No, that just takes us back to where we were before, in the room with the um, one of the boulders. So nice to go through this area without encounters. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother saving there. And here we reach the edge of the cave, which is a huge cliff, unfortunately. Now these um, black armor SR soldiers, they can um, use an attack called Soul Crush I think on you, that lowers your HP down to 1, so that can be quite dangerous. Yep, um, he will always use it at the end of the battle, but the reason why he's using it right now is actually for storyline reasons. And we got a tent in between them, not much. I wonder what that is. Doesn't sound very right. Laguna is getting all these words wrong today. Not just metaphors. And now he just throws Kairos down the cliff. Very nice thing to do with your friends, Laguna. And he does the same with um, Ward. Wait, aren't you the one that threw them off? So now Laguna's gonna be stupid and jump off himself. Couldn't he just find some other way to climb down maybe? And now we're back with these guys. Well, gonna say anything? No, I think Squall's the one with the problem here. He is kind of mean to Zell though. So, right now I'm gonna rearrange my junctions and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now let's head over here and this is Galvedia Garden. And as you can see, Galveria is a lot more military and 
Um, it probably has higher technology than Vagam 2. Of course we're not. They even have these Transformers type gadgets. Yeah, this place does seem more fitting for someone like Squall. 